crystals into the saucepan, hey, keeping one eighth of the no, crystals in the bag. I know. Hey, Our crystals to grow. And then we're going to pour the crystals into the saucepan, keeping one eighth of crystals in the bag. Slowly heat the saucepan, stirring the crystals until they have fully dissolved using your mixture stick. If you want your crystals to glow, sprinkle in some glow powder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the glow powder. Wait for the liquid to cool to a lukewarm temperature. While liquid is cooling, place your rocks into the required tray. Small rocks have been provided. However, for a more prominent crystal, you may wish to find larger rocks in your garden. Now pour the liquid from the saucepan into the tray pouring over the rocks. Once the liquid has settled, take the remaining grains still in your bag and sprinkle them above the base rock so they settle into the rock. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. We can't pick the same colors because... Can we? Oh. You take your crystal bag and we're going to open it first with scissors. An adult does this to help you. We're going to open just a little bit. We're going to keep one eighth a little bit in the bag, okay? So one, two, three, four, there's five. So maybe it be 68. Okay, so we're going to put 68 of the water. Okay, give me the next color. Next color yellow. 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 That's a Can you get me another yeah. stick? This is blue. Yellow, red, and blue. Sounds pretty cool. Glow. Some glowing. 
And for white, we needed 325 ml of water. Pink and yellow was 68. Purple and red is 180. Green and blue and diamond is 68 ml. This is red and purple. And leave one eighth. Did you put the crystal in? Mm. Look at these making a lot. beautiful colors. Well, we got a lot. <laughs> Why is there so many? Why is this not only one? If you get a magnifying glass, you can see what's happening. It's some glow because we want glow and all. Glow. Because we need all of them to glow. See what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now the remaining one eighth of the powder you have, you pour it on top with the liquid and the rocks. We used bigger containers from what they had provided. We also used bigger rocks as well as what they had provided. So we're sprinkling the one eighth of the compound that was saved. So here are the results after the fourth day. Here are the results after a week. This is what we have. And this was left in room temperature for one whole week. Mm -hmm.